occasion and uh, no one here is very happy. We are all sad, we are depressed for the departure of our brother um, James William back to our heavenly home. We have gathered here his sisters and brothers to see that he travels safe home. And we are here basically also to encourage the family members, relatives and friends. With, if they are alone, the burden will be too much. But with us together in the same boat, we encourage ourselves, as St. Paul says. As we begin our celebration in the name of the Father, through the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. In, in baptism, James William received the light of Christ. This light has guided him throughout his life. May may have the joy in the life of Jesus. Water is the source of all life, a symbol of a new life received by James at his baptism. May he now enjoy the fullness of his life. Now is the blessing of the poor. On the day of baptism, James William put on Christ and was clothed in white. May Christ, the good shepherd, now enfold him in his tender love. I'm 
deeply saddened and my heart aches. But we are gathered here today to say our final goodbyes and lay him to rest. But he will always be with us, guiding us, protecting us, and watching over us in our everyday life. I would like to end this by saying, and I quote, Do not grieve, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. End quote. Nehemiah 8.10. Thank you. Can we now have the pastor who has been the first lady? Remember the good news that I carry. Jesus Christ rises from the dead, sprung from the race of David. It is on account of this that I have my own hardship to bear, even to be chained like a criminal. But they cannot chain up God's news, so I bear it all for the sake of those who are chosen, so that in the end they may have the salvation that is in Christ Jesus and the eternal glory that comes with it. Here is the saying that you can rely on. If we have died with him, then we shall live with him. If we hold firm, then we shall reign with him. If we disown him, then we will disown us, or then he will disown us. We may be unfaithful, but he is always faithful, for he cannot disown his own self. The word of God.
reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the Jews, I tell you most solemnly, whoever listens to my words and believes in the one who sent me has eternal life. Without being brought to judgment, he has passed from death to life. I tell you most solemnly, the hour will come, in fact it is here already, when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and all who hear it will live. For the Father who is the source of life has made the Son the source of life. And because he is the Son of Man, has appointed him supreme judge. Do not be surprised at this, for the hour is coming when the dead will leave their graves at the sound of his voice. Those who did evil to condemnation. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to God, Jesus Christ. Let us be seated. I said, as I said before, we have gathered here. The first reason is to accompany our brother back to our heavenly home. We are only visitors in this planet. We are here only for time being. And the time we are here on this earth is just very short. By the time the, the life after this is eternal. Second reason is we have gathered here also to give support, our moral support, and togetherness to the family, to the widow of James. We have also gathered here to reflect over the mystery of death in our lives. Not all of us know about death. There are some of us who do not know about it at all. They just keep on living. They don't know that it is in the corner. And these are the kind of people today, this message will be beneficial for them. For those of us who know about death, we are coming to, to, to ask the Lord to forgive us and to forgive our brother. <coughs> the day when he called me, said, our brother James is suffering in Logan Hospital. That was the day of the lock, three days lockdown. There were no people moving. <coughs> and then, and that is the belief of us, for, for us Catholics. That that is the crucial moment, and that if a priest hears that there is somebody dying, whatever you are doing, if it is a golden thing, you leave it, you rush to rescue that person, to give him the anointing of the sick, because he has only limited time on this earth to live. And the priest goes there first of all to forgive his sins. Anointing him with the holy oil forgives his sin. Today I assure you that James is one of the luckiest people who was able to receive a priest at his death. And we should be proud of that because he has traveled to our heaven home with pure heart. He is in heaven. There's no doubt about that. What is death? It is something very shameful. It is something that snatches. It snatches us from everything and leaves us poor. The family members are today very poor because they are crying, crying, crying. And all of us the same with them. If I feel sad, I'm worse about them. My dear sisters and brothers, when I looked at this picture here, 
I don't know how many of you have it. You can just see that this is this is a, a fellow who has lo long-term dream. Has he achieved those dreams? Partly. Because his daughter was saying he was not only a father to her, but he was something beyond that. What is that? He was an amazing father. Are we all amazing fathers and moms? <coughs> if we are not, we should begin to cultivate that spirit, to become amazing moms and fathers the same way as James was. My dear sisters and brothers, reflecting over the mystery of death in our lives, let us remember what uh, Jesus said. He said, it's only those who believe in me will have eternal life. James received baptism and at the last hour he received the anointing of the sick. He actually believed in him. His prayer made it possible that a priest should go uh, on, at, at, his, at his death before he dies. We have gathered here to support the family. We keep on visiting them. But I want to I want to I want to I want to give you a homework. I don't know how many of you will pass it. It is gonna be a very tough one. I hope you brought all your pens and papers for the test. Again, it is gonna be a very simple test. But it will, I know that it won't be implemented. By us, it won't be implemented. And that is our backwardness. My dear sisters and brothers, if, if James was to stand up here now in front of us and we ask him what is the message he's going to give us, he will tell us only one word. The word unity. Does it exist among us South Sudanese? No. Why not? How far shall we continue to be like that? And I tell you, if we are all united, we shall do marvelous things. We shall do great things. James should be going back to lay down in the land of South Sudan, but it is not possible. Because we are at war. Every now and then we are at war. Until when? For him, he has died in the hospital. What about the thousands at home who are dying in the bush, under the bush, from snakes, from bullets, and from all this? When? When is this, when is this going to stop? And who should stop it? This, those of us seated here. But the problem here, we are careless. We, we, don't, we don't want to make any move. We don't want to make any move to be united. That's the problem. The homework is, when you, when you step out from here, Will you begin to work towards that unity? Among yourselves, first of all, there are choices. Are you united there? That's another question. If not, let us begin to work on it from today. But I know that some of you will be saying, Dek Kalam Abuna Dek Kalam Fari, sorry. Kalam Fari. Kalam Fari Mafin. Fari Mafin. And I mean, you have better than mine Fari. I am a young man of the Gunungi. The Kwani were quoted from the city Kalana, Salisa, Negi Hena Sawa Mabad, Net Kata for Sawa, Dea Kida Haya, Kanzo Tani Endo Endo Muskila, Nahan Negi Tawali. 
lakini fika mina na zamani huwa yanzi msheshwa fika mina na masha masha shenishofu ile kan moto kalasi ana hamu bunaji man akder ni gayr afkar bayani wulai bas bismillahi ibn arah al qudus alillah al wahi prayers of the faithful. In baptism, James received the light of Christ. Let us pray that God will now scatter the darkness and lead him over the water of death. Merciful Lord, James showed much love for others in his life. May he continue to pray for us and be there at the end to welcome us in our turn, into eternal life. Merciful Lord, for all who mourn today, that they will receive strength to assist them in their sadness and grief. We remember all who have died, and we pray that today they will enjoy the promise of eternal happiness. Merciful Lord, for the family and friends of our brother James, that they may be consoled in their grief by the Lord, who wept at the death of his friend Lazarus. Merciful Lord, that God in his mercy may blot out all James' offenses, establish him in life and peace, and call him to happiness in the company of all the saints. Merciful Lord, Lord, these are some of our prayers. There are many more deep in our hearts, which we are unable to express all. Yet you know all of them. Grant them for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Uh, this box here is for donation. If you have anything, you can put here as you continue to see more <laughs> Thank
be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Lord, we are united in this sacrament by the love of Jesus Christ. Accept these gifts and receive our brother James into the glory of your Son, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. So we the heart of the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and the Eternal God, for even though by our own fault we perish, yet by your compassion and your grace, when seized by death, according to our sins, we are redeemed through Christ's great glory, and with him called back into life. And so with the powers of heaven we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. 
For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Mark, our Archbishop, Ken, his assistant, and all the clergy. Remember also your servant, James Kibinda William, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and from by divine teaching, we dare to say,
away from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give it. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And let us offer each other the sign of peace for our side. <laughs> Lamb of God, clear away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, clear away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, clear away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold the who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter my room. I don't say the word in my soul shall be now time for uh, communion and if you are receiving it so you can come but if you are not receiving holy communion please remain seated thank you
Somebody has the address, but it is all on Ipswich Road. If you key in community center, is it community center, community house, on Ipswich Road, we will be able to uh, find it. So we are all requested by the family to come there so that we can join them in celebrating the life of our brother James. Thank you very much.
Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our brother James. May our farewell express our affliction for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet him again when the love of Christ which conquers all things destroys even death itself. Now our song of farewell. Saints of God come to his aid, hasten to meet him, angels of the Lord. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. May Christ who called you take you to himself. May angels lead you to Abraham's side. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Let us pray in closing. Trusting in God, we have prayed together for James William. And now we come to the last farewell. There is sadness in parting, but we take comfort in the hope that one day we shall greet, we shall greet James and enjoy his friendship. Although this congregation will disperse in sorrow, the mercy of God will gather us together again in the joy of this kingdom. Therefore, let us console one another in the faith of Jesus Christ. Grant this through Christ our Lord.
page 14. by your own three days in the tomb, you hallowed the graves of all who believe in you, and so made the grave a sign of hope that promises resurrection. Even as it claims our mortal bodies, grant that our brother James may sleep here in peace until you awaken him to glory, for you are the resurrection and the life. Then he will see you, he will see you face to face, and in your light will see light, and know the splendor of God, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. For our brother James, let's pray to our Lord Jesus Christ, who said, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me shall live even in death. 
And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you consoled Martha and Mary in their distress. Draw near to us who mourn for James and dry the tears of those who weep. We pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. You wept at the grave of Lazarus, your friend. Comfort us in our sorrow. We pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. You raise the dead to life. Give to our brother James eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. You promise paradise to the repentant thief. Bring James to the joy of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Our brother James was washed in baptism and anointed with the Holy Spirit. Give him fellowship with all your saints. We pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. He was nourished with your body and blood. Grant him a place at the table in your heavenly kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Comfort us in our sorrows at the death of James. Let our faith be our consolation and eternal life our hope. We pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Merciful Lord, you know the anguish of the sorrowful. You are attentive to the prayers of the humble. Hear your people who cry out to you in their need and strengthen their hope in your lasting goodness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the love of God and the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ bless and console us and gently wipe every tear from our eyes. In the name of the Father, through the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Just pull us through. You know, 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 you What a friend we have in Jesus, all of his life is good. What a friend we have in Jesus, all of his life is good.
peace of God which is beyond all our understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Finihaya, I would like to thank all of you who have gathered here today to, to give farewell to our brother uh, James, especially the men who worked very hard the women who are there to support the relatives and friends, and those of us who have left all our assignments to come and give and bid them farewell. May the Lord bless you all. May He give you courage. May He give you strength. This is our way. As I said, we are here also to reflect over the mystery of death in our life who are still alive, to be prepared and also to help others. The Lord needs us to unite. The Lord needs us to unite and build this kingdom here or wherever. Without our unity, 
Without our unity, Naskatir began attack for Ghana best. Kantukon Laru, Altukon Maru, Bodun Wahida Bitana, Naskatir Bata for Ghana. Oh, never could have been asked that's our men. I'm going to the shop. Wahida Yatana, you know, in Madero. The South Sudanese, they hate one thing. What is that they hate? They hate to come together and to meet. Meet and discuss issues that will bring development and that will bring courage and prosperity to us. We don't like it. We are asking Jemis today enter into our hearts so that we can be able to unite. There is only one medicine. Medicine that is why it best. You have the unity, like in the mother Abala. They should not go to the They should not go to the They should not go to the trust. Al-Bafa Mala, Bafa Mala, Al-Bafa Mala, they will go back to the top. Rasal Jemil Takal, Abuna Mustabil Takal Gabugulshu. Zola Lafam, Obori Rita. What? The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended and our service at the grave is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, Father. <laughs>